Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'm going to show you how to delete a phase by blend radius. Uh, what I mean here is that you may have a model that has several blends in it of various sizes, and they might have been done with several different blend features throughout the uh, model progression. And you're taking this model and you need to make changes, but in order to do so you're going to have to remove some blends. Um, so to do that, you can actually go into uh, Insert Synchronous Modeling, Delete Face, and I can go to Blend Size. And I want to get rid of any blend that is, let's see, right now it's set for less than or equal 5 millimeters. So if I click on that, it's going to choose all the blends that are less than or equal five millimeters. Now if I change this to something very very small smaller than I know these blends are it's going to deselect everything and if I try to select on that it's not going to allow me. In fact I don't think there's anything in this model that is less than 0.1. So we can increment up. I'm pretty sure those little blends are only 0.5 so if I change that to 0.5, and you can see there's several other blends in here. If I just choose that and I hover and I drag my cursor or my cursor across it, it's going to select all the blends in this model that are 0.5 and below. And that is really cool. And that just makes you know getting rid of these faces so much easier. Um, if I knew that the let's say these outer ones are bigger than the inner ones. Um, let's just say that I'm pretty sure the inner ones are six millimeters. I could drag this across. Oh, it might be bigger than that. Let's see. Let's go to seven. Maybe I have to hit enter. Aha, see? And now I was able to start selecting uh, blends that were inside that were big enough. But I only want to select the smallest blends. As you can see, the number changed. It automatically goes, iterates through the model, and finds the blends that I want to delete. So I want to get rid of these. Hit OK, and those blends are gone. And now I can make some changes to the geometry in here without having to worry about the blending uh, getting in the way of that. Again, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and this video was about delete face using blend radius. For more training tips and tutorials, check us out at designvisionaries.com. You can also check out our tutorial website, nxtutorials.com. Thanks.